Welcome to the April update. Sorry it's a bit late, but very busy because we're leaving soon. First, into the goals. First goal, make plenty of new friends. So it's difficult to make new friends as we're now leaving, so we're not meeting as many people. But one of my friends, uh, his name's Jin, and it was just wonderful to really meet with him. It's just really good to speak to someone in English, in fluent English. So yeah, it was really fun. And number two, experience God in weird and wonderful ways. As some of you may know this, I was given the opportunity to stay in Korea and work with YFC here. Um, after much um, praying and much talking to people about it, um, God gave me clear direction not to stay in Korea. It was a very difficult uh, decision to make. So I, I love uh, the people I've met here and you know what I do here, but I just wasn't sure if I needed to stay here or I needed to go somewhere else. So God has definitely shown up and said, no, no, I want you to go somewhere else. So as we head into spring, or how are we? We are now in spring. The weather has warmed up quite nicely. There are flowers everywhere. Um, I've been taking the opportunity to go to different parks and yeah, like here are some of the pictures of Namsan. It's really pretty how Seoul is just so green now. And with ministry, uh, we went to Daejeon last month. Ali was sick, so she couldn't come. But we met with about eight students, and they were lovely. I just got along really well with them. It's really good and really reminded me of why I like working with young people. We also had a meeting at an international school for possibility of YFC working there. We were received very well. Um, they're looking forward to working with us. Hopefully we'll start working with them in the um, in autumn. Our last set of classes finished last week of um, actually teaching. This weekend we'll be having a party and just spending time with the students. It'll be really sad to leave them. Um, I've really grown to very close to my students. They're a great bunch of um, kids and I'm really glad that I was able to spend this time with them. I'm very happy with how they've grown in their English ability and their confidence. Lately I've been feeling a bit homesick. Easter is a very special time um, for me. I love to spend Easter with my family. So it was very difficult this year to be away from that. Um, I'm very grateful for Skype so I can like talk to them. It was also my brother's 21st birthday and I was able to Skype in and see other members of the family I haven't seen. You know it's only five weeks now so <laughs> five weeks until home. We're going back to Thailand next week on Thursday. Uh, from now until then um, we're really busy uh, with meeting people and uh, saying goodbye and finishing things up and it's just crazy. We've had a new worker come. Uh, he's from the States and uh, his name's David and currently he's away at a training for um, a sports ministry but I'm really excited for what he has to offer. He's such a bundle of energy um, and his passion for God and for youth ministry is really inspiring. Pray for him as um, he starts ministry with YFC Korea. If you have been watching the news you'll be aware that there has been a boating accident off the coast of South Korea over um, 200 people at this stage are still missing, over 100 are dead. Um, most of these are students in Ansan. Ansan YFC has no presence in that school, but the whole tragedy has hit the city of Ansan very hard. So I really ask you to pray for the families and for the students that are still missing, that they'll just be a miracle, be able to be reunited with their families. Okay, that's all for this update. Um, this will be the last time you see Korea because next update I'll be in Thailand and then the update after that I'll be back in Australia. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye!